Hello friends, welcome to Code Boy. In the last video, we saw what is JDK and GRE. And you know now that JVM is part of GRE. So in this video, let's see what is JVM and how it works. So JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. It is responsible for executing code which are in Java bytecode format. So Java code is first converted to bytecode before being executed on JVM. Code from other languages can also be converted to Java bytecode and can run on JVM. So bytecode is basically the format needed by JVM. So let's see how program runs on the processor without JVM. So let's say we have three files, one with the main method and other two with the methods called inside main. So first they are given to the compiler and then compiler converts them to the object files. Object files are the files that have code in machine understandable format. Once they are in machine understandable format, they are linked together to form exe. And then this exe gets executed on the processor. So this is the way how code runs on the processor without JVM. Then why does JVM come into picture? If the program runs directly on the processor, they would have to be developed separately for separate OS. So code developed on Windows will only run on Windows machine and it would have to be developed separately for the Linux machine. But if you have JVM, code written on Windows can run on Linux as well because JVM converts it to the respective OS format. That is the reason Java is platform independent. Also JVM makes it more secure by verifying code and loading files securely etc. So let's see how. So if we have JVM, Java files are first con converted by the compiler in the dot class files, which is in bytecode format. Now once the code is compiled successfully in the bytecode format, JVM has class loader, which loads the files on the processor. And then the bytecode verifier verifies the code for any security checks and removes the illegal code if any. And then finally, the execution engine converts it to the native machine code, which executes on the processor. So this is how J JVM makes Java code platform independent and more secure. In the next video, we will see detailed architecture of JVM. Till then, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. Also, please like and share this video. Thank you.